What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you about Windows 10 Hyper-V once again. So I recently underwent moving iVirtual machines from one disk to another for a speed improvement. However, I ended up with a single VHDX, which is a virtual hard disk image file of an operating system with a bunch of files on it and nothing else. So I'm not exactly sure where I had this from, but I just have this single disk image file. And in order to get it back into Hyper-V and run it as a virtual machine, you might be a bit confused. So say that you have just a single uh, hard disk image file, it can be VHDX, it can be anything like that. So you need to import it into Hyper-V. You can't just drag and drop. And by going to new hard disk, it's just adding the hard disk itself or creating a new one. So how exactly do we get it to import into Hyper-V? Well, it's actually super simple. So let's hit new virtual machine next, and we'll give it a name. So I'll call it Windows temp just for now. And you can choose where to store the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and give it a location. I'll just make a temporary folder and let's put it into there. So next we'll select generation one or two, doesn't really matter. Next, let's add the amount of RAM. So I think let's put in maybe eight gigs, which is 8192. Next, default switch, next. And now is when we actually import the hard disk. So it's currently saved on my H drive under Windows 10 VHDX. So instead of create a virtual hard disk, we'll go to use an existing virtual hard disk and hit browse. Then we'll browse to the folder and pick the hard disk. Obviously, you'd put it into your virtual machines folder or wherever you want to import it from. So I'll have it inside of temp and then simply double click on it to open it. Then I'll hit next and then finish. After that's done, if we go into the temp folder, you'll see our virtual machines information has been added here. And if we go ahead and hit start and connect, you should be able to see that it boots up perfectly normally just from the hard disk image itself. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.